Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we have an ambassador in Budapest, um, as we do have ambassadors in capitals around the world uh, who are standing up for uh, American interests, American values, uh, who are um, promoting uh, those elements uh, in ways that uh, is uh, appropriate uh, given their roles and responsibilities. Uh, of course, we have a long relationship with uh, our Hungarian ally, Hungary is uh, an important NATO ally. Uh, that is not to see that we see eye to eye on every issue. Of course, uh, there are many issues where we do have uh, divergences of opinion or just flat out disagreements. Uh, Ambassador Pressman uh, is uh, there in Budapest to represent uh, our interests, our values. Uh, when we do have those disagreements, he can uh, convey that to uh, our Hungarian allies uh, in our terms, and that's what he does. Uh, the United States has signed on to three letters to support Ukraine and to hold Russia accountable for its war. Uh, these letters called for a series of measures, uh, namely to suspend Russia and Belarus's sports, uh, sport national governing boards from international sport federations, to remove individuals closely aligned to the Russian and Belarusian states, uh, including but not limited to government officials, uh, from positions of influence on international sport federations, uh, such as boards, organizing committees, other elements, and to encourage national and international sports organizations to suspend the broadcasting of sports competition into Russia and Belarus. Um, look, in cases where national and international sports organizations and other event organizers choose to permit athletes, um, but not just athletes, officials, administrators, others, uh, from Russia and Belarus to participate in sporting events, um, a couple things apply. It should be clear that they are not representing uh, the Russian or Belarusian states. Uh, the use of official state Russian and Belarusian flags, emblems, and anthems should be prohibited. Uh, and appropriate steps should be taken to ensure that any public statement made uh, or, or symbols displayed at sporting events by, again, athletes, uh, administrators, <coughs> officials, are consistent with this approach. As further details have come to light, the United States strongly condemns the unilateral January 30th release by Sudanese authorities of Abdul, Abdul Rauf Abu Zaid, the individual convicted of the 2008 killing of our colleagues John Granville and Abdul Rahman Abbas. The Sudanese claim that the Granville family had extended forgiveness is false. We call on the Sudanese government to exercise all available legal means to reverse this decision and to rearrest Abu Zaid. The 2020 U.S.-Sudan bilateral settlement of legal claims did not address Abu Zaid's imprisonment or his sentence. We heard the heartfelt statement by John Granville's mother, and we reaffirm our condolences to the families of the victims of this horrific, targeted terrorist attack, and will continue to urge that Abu Zaid be held fully accountable for the murder of John Granville and Abdul Rahman Abbas. Why you are delaying to send the official, the formal notification to the Congress?